Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. So today I'm going to be putting together a 25 gallon compost tea brewer. This is based upon some plans that I found online over at Oregon State University's Extension Service and they were drawn up by a Mark Rudder. Overall really easy, low cost uh, project to put together. It utilizes a Rubbermaid trash can, PVC pipe. Uh, the most expensive part of the project is going to be the air pump and I would recommend that if you do follow this design as well that you put in uh, the money needed for a better quality commercial pump, something that can really push around uh, 25 gallons of water. So without further ado, I'm going to just put this project together quickly. I really don't need to go over this step by step with you because that's all going to be provided in the link below this video. So if you are interested in making the same brewer, check out the link below this video. So here's a quick look at the plans which can be downloaded over at Oregon State University's Extension Service. Nice and complete manual, it's got drawings, a full parts list, even has compost tea brewing recipe. Now the tools you're going to need for this project, and there really is not many, you're going to need a drill, a 3 quarter inch hole saw, a 1 16th inch drill bit, some PVC pipe cutters, and a small crescent wrench, a flathead screwdriver, some Teflon tape, and a sharpie. Optionally, if you decide to install this flow valve, which is also included in the directions, you're going to need a one and a quarter inch hole saw, as well as a water tank bulkhead fitting, a three quarter inch nipple, and then a three quarter inch PVC ball valve. These PVC ball valves are really great, unlike a typical spigot that reduces down and restricts the flow. This is going to open wide up, unrestricted, and allow much more pressure. So I'm actually opting not to use this in my design. It's not gonna be that functional for my particular situation. The way that I'm planning on actually utilizing my compost tea, I'm gonna be sharing with you. And it's a lot quicker and a lot funner than filling up a water can or a backpack sprayer. So stay tuned for that. The parts you're gonna need, again, a complete list is available through the link below, but I'll quickly go through it. Any 32 gallon plastic garbage can will work. You're also gonna need a stick of half inch schedule 40 PVC. These typically come in 10 foot lengths, you're just going to need one of those. There's various PVC connectors that you're going to need to go to your nearest box store like a Home Depot and pick up, 45s, T's, end caps, and again all available on the parts list. You're also going to need a couple hose clamps and a half inch poly mail adapter. Here's the size and brand that I used. And for the vinyl tubing I made sure to get the braided vinyl with the 3 8 inch inner diameter, 5 8 inch outer diameter. To hold the compost in the brewer, you're going to be using a mesh bag. I found that these five gallon paint strainer bags you could pick up at any big box store work great. And last but definitely not least, the most important part of this entire project is going to be the air pump that you use for this system. You want to make sure that you get a quality, commercial, powerful pump that's going to actually be able to push around this liquid like I had mentioned earlier in the video. And after doing quite a bit of research, I decided on this Active Aqua from Hydro Farm. And I'm very happy I did. It's working great. All right, so let's get to building this thing. So the first step was to go ahead and look at that parts list and then measure out all the different sizes that I need to cut out of this PVC pipe. I love using a PVC cutter. It's no mess and it slices through like butter. All right, now that I got all my parts ready, I'm gonna go ahead and dry fit this together. Now the instructions only call for using a glue at one point in this project. And what you'll see as you finish watching the video is I don't use any glue and I'm having good results with that. So just keep that in mind. All right, now I got this all put together. That only took but a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it on inside and drill what will be the air holes. I've decided to do it inside, that way it makes for less mess and I can easily just vacuum up these plastic shavings. As per the instructions, I'm spacing each hole about a half an inch apart. And I basically just made three rows of holes, one on the top and one on either side. And I just did that all around each little section of PVC. Next, the instructions call for drilling two three-quarter inch holes on either side of each other, two inches down from the top of the garbage can. So I'll do one on this side, and another hole 180 degrees directly on the other side. Now I'm just setting that PVC back into the can and putting everything together. It's at the points where the PVC comes through the can that it recommends using glue, and I found after testing the unit that that really wasn't necessary, so I went ahead and just passed on that. Now I just put some Teflon tape on this half inch poly mail adapter. This is what the air pump's gonna hook up to. And 
Now I'm just connecting the hose using the hose clamp. And I went ahead and trimmed down the 10 foot hose down to six feet. That's what works for me. And now that I've got it all hooked up and full of water, we're ready to roll. So I'd recommend before you fill up the brewer with water that you strategically place it somewhere out in the garden where it'll be convenient when it comes time to go ahead and disperse this compost tea over your plants. So if you're using tap water or other type of water that might contain things like chlorine, you're going to want to first go ahead and aerate the water by just turning on the pump and allowing those bubbles to go ahead and disperse some of those chemical components. Just overnight in a system like this would be adequate. It really is pushing out a lot of air. I'll go ahead and leave the lid off for that process. And if you're using some clean collected rainwater, even better, you can bypass that and just get to brewing right off the bat. I got to tell you folks, uh, as a gardener, I'm really happy to have something like this as a garden tool. I'm just really happy with the way this project turned out. I'd highly recommend that you look into it, and especially if you're gardening on a larger area. And you're going to want to stay tuned because in the next upcoming video, I'm going to share with you how I made this tea and how it is I go about dispersing this in my garden quickly, effectively, and easily. All right, folks. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back at you tomorrow.